Hello everyone and welcome to another Wizard 101 video. Today I'm going to be doing another t type of like explanation video. Um, nothing like, you can skip this video if you want to, this is just something that I find interesting. So, um, you know, I might share it with everyone else as well. What I'm going to be doing today is, um, what each of the Wizard 101 worlds are based on overall, like some overall themes, what they're based on, and, um, you know, how it relates to different things. So, Wizard City. Wizard City is very unique. It is magical school. Um, it, it's unique in it, as in it's not really based on anything. But if you had to take inspirations, Harry Potter would probably be one of the biggest ones. Obviously, you have wizened old headmaster. Long, flowing white beard who looks all cool, wears uh, strange clothing. You have all these different professors. You have this one professor who seems to be evil and kind of a dick, but it turns out he's, he's not that bad, right? Which is Cyrus Drake. And um, I think that the premise for this world isn't bad, but I do think um, it is a little bit bland, but that could just be the fact that I've done Wizard City so many times that the, the premise has just gotten old by this point. Krakatopia is based on Egypt, ancient Egypt overall. This is, this is very obvious if you know anything about, like, ancient Egypt, which you should probably if you've gone to school. Um, I have at least. I learned a little bit about it. Um, obviously you have ancient Egyptians, hieroglyphs, pyramids, um, you know, the like. You have Crocopatra, who's based on Cleopatra. Crocotep, who's based on, uh... Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know if he's based on anyone in particular, but, uh, Croc and Commons, Toot and Common, um, you know, based on basic Egyptian things, myths, uh, legends, and beyond legends, just history. Um, I do find this world to be one of the most interesting for me because I do have an interest in that time period, but, uh, you know, it's cool. Uh, Marleybone is obviously based on England, Britain. Um, I, if I had to um, put a time period on this, I would put Victorian slash um, somewhere in between Victorian and um, modern England. Not modern, modern, but like 1920s. I would, I would put this probably at smack dab 1900 Britain. Um, it has that feel to it, you know, the, uh, very much, like, uh, cluttered, overbearing, but aristocratic society that Britain had during that time period, and still kind of has now. Um, definitely is strongly reminiscent of that, especially, like, the Royal Museum and stuff like that, which is based on actual British, you know, having history and collecting history. Um... The Jade Palace and um, the Mushu as a whole is based heavily on Chinese and Japanese culture. Um, I'd say it's somewhere of a mix. It's not particularly one or the over the other. But obviously Japanese is a bit more prevalent because you have things such as Samurais and Ninja. Uh, but you do also have the Buddha which is heavily based in Chinese and Chinese legend. You have an emperor. And, um, you know, uh, the emperor, emperors are both a, uh, you know, are, are a both thing. But, um, I definitely find this to be interesting as well. It takes heavily from history and, um, how the emperor is, like, the central, most important figure above all in these cultures. They're the invincible, you know, the, the sun king, I believe that's from... I forget who the Sun King is. That might just be Japan. Dragon Spire. Um, I won't say that Dragon Spire is particularly based on anything. It's um, obviously supposed to be just a world based heavily in um, militarism and a militaristic society. Ravaged. Absolutely destroyed. Um, if I had to put the, connect this to something, I would connect it to the Romans or maybe even the Russians because of how heavily militaristic the society is and, um, you know, just basically overall how, um, 
how the society is run and how the society was in the past. It makes a lot of sense. It's very militaristic and very uh, based on um, being raised for military. Grizzleheim is um, very much Viking. I would say, you know, Nordic, uh, Sweden, Denmark, and Finland, uh, that kind of area. Um, did I just not say Norway? Did I say Sweden, Denmark, and then Finland instead of Norway? Eh, I don't really care. But uh, it obviously has that basis. And um, you have the coven, which is like witches, pagan legends. The bears are uh, Vikings. Uh, very interesting. I find it to be very interesting. Winter Tusk is obviously the same. It's just based on that. Celestia. Celestia is based on Atlantis. I don't really know what else to say beyond that. But it also further introduces the premise of Marleybonians colonizing and exploring the world, which I find to be really cool because it's based on how the British were basically everywhere and they really liked uh, exploration and um, finding new civilization. Um, obviously, they also like conquering native peoples, but uh, we'll gloss over that because it's Wizard 101. Um, Wisteria, I would say this is based, again, off of Harry Potter Hogwarts type thing. I would say that this is supposed to be, like, the snooty kind of, like, I don't know, the Bobatons of, um, of that, while the Wizard City is the Hogwarts. Something like that, because the Triwizard Cup, you know, or no, sorry, the, what's that called, the Spyro Cup, um, you know, overall is, um, what that's based on. Um, Zafaria is based on African and tribal, uh, legend, and not just legend, uh, history. Um, obviously beyond the music, you also have how they talk, you have the culture in of itself, you can see the very tribal feel here. And honestly, Zafaria is one of my favorite worlds because of that, just because I find it to be very interesting. Avalon is feudal Europe. Feudal Europe all the way, and I love it. This is probably... Feudal Europe's one of my favorite things to learn about, and I think that's why Avalon's, like, one of my favorite worlds. Um, overall, it's very cool. It has a lot of, like, Monty Python references and stuff packed into it, which is why I consider it to be a really good world, and uh, that's what it's based on. Azteca is based on the tribal peoples of the uh, Americas. Um based on specifically Aztecs, which, you know, should be a dead ringer with the name Azteca. Um, you know, you can, you can hear the tribal, uh, you can see the tribal type thing. You can see, like, they have all the pyramids. You can see the pyramids here, um, which are based on, like, things like Machu Picchu. Is that, is that, is it Machu Picchu or am I stupid? Sorry if I'm being stupid. Chrysalis. This isn't particularly based on anything. I feel like the final world of Ark is never really based on anything in particular, but um, it does have a very interesting story and a very interesting uh, area. Uh, the only thing maybe you could say is like Fort Rackius and um, yeah, basically just Fort Rackius is based on Alcatraz maybe? I don't know, it seems like it. But, like, obviously there's nothing particularly well that is based on. Polaris is one of the things I find to be most interesting because it is a, a really weird world because it's taking the French and the Russians and putting them together in a weird amalgamation kind of story thing where it's literally the French and Russian revolutions put together. The main enemy is Rasputin, Rasputin, who was obviously based on Grigory Rasputin, and, um, you know, I find it to be very interesting. Um, I love, French and Russian revolutions are some of my favorite time periods to think about, and I find it to be very interesting and very cool. So, uh, yeah, moving on. All right, everyone, uh, I had to pause it because I haven't actually unlocked all the rest of the worlds yet, so I have to teleport to my fire. But the next in the list is the Arcanum. Now, the Arcanum isn't really based on anything, as of, as you could probably guess. It's, it's, uh, it's just, you know, it's, um, 
a conglomeration of different worlds and um, teachers at a university type thing. So it's kind of like if Hogwarts had a college, uh, that's what the Arcanum would be. And um, I find that to be interesting. It's something, all right. You know, so it definitely um, is an interesting world. It's not really a world. It's kind of like Wizard City, but severely stripped back. So we're going to be moving on to one of my new, one of my favorite worlds, to be completely honest, and something I find to be very interesting. And that is Mirage. Mirage is the world after Polaris. And honestly, I think it's a fantastically built and designed world. I think that it's uh, Polaris definitely was good and then you made Mirage, which in my opinion is almost just as good, which is why I consider it to be like, you know, it, it's a really good world. Um, it is based heavily off of Persian myths and um, Middle Eastern type things. You can tell by um, Agrabah, um, Caravan in general. Um, I believe there's a city, uh, is it Yerevan? which it could be based on um beyond that there's genies um uh, i mean there's also the fact that it's a sandy place but like there's the like nomads and the uh those type people um also one of the most obvious is probably istanbul which is based on istanbul not constantinople it's istanbul and um you know that is controlled by the turkish nowadays and um is the kind of like gateway to the europeans in the western world as it's considered by many so mirage pretty cool based on persia final world on this list is imperia imperia like chrysalis and dragon spire final world of its arc not particularly based on anything i would say it's um it's very much a kind of um unique type thing uh excuse me sorry really had to yawn but um it's it's very interesting um obviously the characters are based heavily off of star trek you have um uh the arc which is based off of the Enterprise, right? Sorry, I've never watched Star Trek, so I'm not entirely sure. Spark, or is that his name? Spark is based on, uh, I can't, I honestly can't tell you who they're based on. Leave them, leave that in the comments if you know. I'm sure there's someone that knows, but obviously there's Khan, who is Khan? And uh, I, I did find this world to be semi-interesting. It's a bit boring. I wouldn't consider it to be really good. I think they made it very much like Chrysalis, where it's long and drawn out and not as interesting. Which is a shame, because I think it could have, especially with Polaris and Mirage coming before it, it could have been a really good world. But that's basically what all of the worlds are based on in Wizard 101. Obviously, there will be more future worlds, like Caramel. Uh, but we don't know what that's based on yet. We don't know exactly what the storyline is, so who knows? Um, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and hit the sub button. Tomorrow, I'll probably be doing some other type of video. Something else. You'll see when it happens. So yeah, if you enjoyed, please drop a like and hit the sub button. I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble about historical things and what things are based on as much as I enjoy doing it. So yeah, uh, have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.